11 o'clock, a Gaston County mother is pleading with you for help to find the man who killed her son over the weekend. 25-year-old Demelon White was shot in his apartment on Pebblestone Way in Gastonia. Police say a witness told them two to three people fled the scene. Tonight, White's mother says that witness was her five-year-old grandson, White's son. Our Cam Gaskins is live. So Cam, a five-year-old is the one who saw it all. How is he doing? Yeah, Molly, his grandmother tells me that while her and her family are still angry and grieving over the loss of her son, they're very aware of the impact his death could have on his five-year-old son, and they're hoping this story can help find those responsible. It's all new at 11. D loved to dance, Okay. and now he's dancing for eternity. For the past few days, Tawanda Stevens has lived out a path no parent wants. They killed his body, but they didn't kill his soul. They killed his body, but they did not kill his soul. She says her faith has guided her through losing her son. Damalyn White died early Sunday morning in Gastonia. Stevens is a minister at Friendship Christian Church in Gastonia. She says her son was baptized just last month on Easter Sunday. She says he was rededicating his life to God. And I thank God for that. That, that gives me joy that I'm going to live to see him again. The hope of a future heavenly reunion doesn't take away from the hurt left behind by those who loved her son. These are his children. This is Kair, this is uh, Zymir, this is Kamila, and this is Cadence. They won't see their daddy anymore. According to Stevens, five-year-old Kair was in the room when his father was shot and killed. They killed him, and, and his son is stand, standing there, right there with his father's blood in his feet. Leaving behind a trauma she's not sure will ever leave. He's very fearful. Um, he's not sleeping as well at night. Uh, we bought a security blanket, weighted blanket to help him. He asked today, could he buy a cake so his daddy could have it in heaven? Even in the midst of this pain and grief, Stevens has hope answers will come and those who killed her son will face what they deserve. We're praying for justice, that these people won't rest. Um, I pray for their souls. Um, I pray that they were so convicted that they aren't able to rest, that they will come forth. But I have no doubt that justice will prevail. Yeah, and tonight I also spoke with a spokesperson for Gastonia Police over the phone, and he says there have been no new leads since Sunday, so they are still actively asking the public to provide any information that can lead to the men responsible for White's death. Reporting live at GPD headquarters, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV on your side. Well, Cam, hopefully this helps.